Hey, this is Kat. What we're going to do today is have a look at creating avatars. So according to dictionary.com uh, in, and in relation to digital technology, an avatar is a graphical image that represents a person as on the internet. So my avatar is a visual representation of me. On my teaching blogs, I try to make my avatar look like a maybe a stereotypical teacher. So dress quite neatly, the glasses, maybe a book in my hand. Uh, where an avatar on my personal blog, I might, might make a little bit more funky, more how I feel than how I, I feel I should be seen. So there's lots of different views that you can take for your avatar. And I would say, think about the purpose of where you're going to use it as to which approach you take. Now, if I want to create an avatar, the first place I'm going to start looking is Google. So here we are at Google, and what I might search for is something like free online avatar creator. And it will provide me with the number of links. And it's a matter of just clicking on the different links and seeing which one that you like. Now I've got some open that I like. I've got WeMe, which is created through WeWorld, and I've got Doppelme. I think that WeWorld is a little bit cuter, so I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to start by clicking on Create Your WeMe. Now we start with some basics about my gender, face shape, skin color, and eye color. So I'm a female. I'll have a look at the different head shapes, and I think oval looks pretty cool, so I might roll with that. I'll pick a skin color. Uh, there are a few to pick from here, but I'm going to stick with a fairly neutral tone. And then I can pick my eye color. Uh, green looks pretty cool. Blue is quite funky. I might stick with the blue. And now I'm going to get dressed. So I'm going to customize my Wii Me. So from here, I can use the drop down menu to choose different categories and work my way through. So perhaps it would be a good idea now to pause where you're at. Uh, so pause the video and maybe go to weworld.com or another site and just start creating your WeMe. Otherwise, just watch along. Okay, once I have a Wii Me I'm happy with, I can go on and save, and that will force me then to sign up. Now, I don't know about you, but there are so many different things that I go to on the web, and they all want me to sign up, and I'm pretty sick of it. So I'm not actually going to sign up here. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot. So I'm going to take a picture of what is on my screen. Now, the way to do that on a PC is on your keyboard, you'll see a button called Print Screen and it's got capital P, lowercase RT, uppercase S, lowercase C, so PRTSC. And if you press that button, it will take a picture of your entire screen. Now, if you're on Mac, you need to use a program called Grab. And then from Grab, you are able to select a portion of the screen. So I'm going to take a selection. Oh, so in Windows, you can also use the snipping tool. That was one of the more recent things with Windows 7. So I'm going to grab my avatar. Now I've got a bit of background in there which I can Photoshop out or I can just leave it in there. So I've taken my picture and I'm just going to save that one. I'll just put it on my desktop for now. My avatar and I'll save that one. Okay, now if you were in um, on PC, that would have just taken a snapshot of your screen, 
but it wouldn't have allowed you to see any feedback from that. So what you actually have to do is open up Paint or Paint.net or maybe Photoshop, whichever one you're more comfortable with, and then paste the picture of the screen into the computer. So that's the screenshot that I took, but I actually only want a small selection. So I would grab a little selection tool, which typically looks like a rectangle with a few little dots on it. I'll use that tool to draw a box around the component that I want to keep. And then from there, I need to find from my menus, typically it's in edit, I need to find an option that says crop. And that will get rid of everything except for what I've selected. Okay, and that's the picture that I want to keep. So from there, I will save a version. And you want to save it. So on a Mac, I've done save a version. On a PC, I would say save as. And that's where I give it a name and I save it to where I want to save it. Okay, so once it's saved as an image, you can from there upload that into your blog profile and we'll have a look at where we will do that uh, in another video.